Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena and what you're seeing here is the Sony Xperia T, the new James Bond phone, which will appear in the new upcoming movie Skyfall, since uh, of course it's made by Sony Pictures. But uh, this is not why we're interested in the Xperia T. It fills all the prerequisites to be called a flagship phone, of course. It has a huge 4.55 inch HD screen, 1280 by 720 pixels and it is powered by dual core snapdragon s4 processor and above all we have this 13 megapixel camera on the back with the new stacked exmor rs camera sensor which should make for some good photos so it fills all the prerequisites to be called a flagship smartphone and this will be the phone for sony that will battle the other high ends like the galaxy s3 or the lg optimus 4x hd this holiday season it sports the typical for sony arch design now which was pioneered with the xperia arc and makes the phone look uh, pretty interesting from the side with this curved profile here on the back aids the grip as well together with the soft touch plastic on the back the phone is slightly thicker and heavier than the other hands but it feels very sturdy in the hand very solid we have this micro SD and uh, SIM card slots here on the right with a protective lid over them, very easy to access as you can see. Thankfully there is expandable storage because the trend recently has been uh, no expandable, just internal storage included. The phone has 16 gigabytes inside and the micro SD card slot you can put uh, much more in it but um, the placement of this protective lid and the slots here on the upper right side has shifted uh, the buttons on the lower right side and while the power lock key is comfortable to press this uh, volume rocker here is too low so when you're holding the phone like that you actually have to push the phone up to lower or increase the volume which uh, can be a bit dangerous a result in dropping the phone we also have the dedicated camera shutter key here which makes for some very fast photos as you can see less than a second from sleep to snap from when the phone is locked to actually taking a picture with this dedicated shutter key pretty fast and that's one advantage uh, that the Xperia T has before the competition all of which has uh, on-screen buttons the display itself uh, is with uh, pretty high pixel density 323 so small text uh, doesn't appear jagged it's very readable when you're browsing the web but uh, it has some quirks like very high screen reflectance ratio as you can see which uh, diminishes the experience outside under direct sunlight pretty high reflectance and it also has pretty weak viewing angles as you can see not much the vertical ones but the horizontal ones are pretty weak for the class that the phone is in as you can see colors and contrast uh, diminish very rapidly with the slightest tilt of the phone so when one of your parties is observing the phone from the side he won't exactly see the picture with this brilliant clarity that we're used to from IPS LCDs these are the minor gripes uh, with the display but let's have a look at how the interface looks like on the Sony Xperia T we've got the usual for Sony Timescape UX here, plastered over Android 4.0 ICS, which offers the recognizable multimedia widgets for controlling your music, uh, pictures and video collection, as well as the Timescape feed, which integrates your social networking updates in, uh, into one on your home screen. The Facebook uh, Inside Xperia functionality is also here. It integrates uh, your Facebook friends uh, in your contacts list, as well as uh, shows your Facebook albums in this uh, nice gallery app for example among many others 
One great feature are also the so-called small apps in this ICS Timescape Edition, which are easily accessible when you press the right on-screen navigational key. Besides the multitasking menu of your active apps, you can scroll through here on the right and shut down the ones you don't need. For example, as usual, you have this dock with four app shortcuts at the bottom. We have a calculated timer, voice recorder and notes. You can add more from the Play Store. And these small apps are pop-ups that appear and you can place them anywhere on the screen and doing whatever you like underneath. So I can quickly calculate something or you have a timer, you can set it up, do something underneath and it will just count down. We also have notes, probably the most uh, useful of them also. When in a call, for example, you can just make it pop up and jot down something quickly. And we also have swipe functionality in this keyboard and uh, text prediction. Very good, well spaced keys. Very easy to type on this uh, Sony Xperia T keyboard. If you can't read it for some reason, because uh, the text is small, you can just use a magnifying glass. Very handy. Overall, these uh, smart apps are one of the best features of uh, the Timescape UX here on the Sony Xperia T. As we set uh, the keyboard, it is very comfortable to type on, well spaced keys. Uh, it refrains from the busy layout with a lot of punctuation signs that uh, its competition usually has. Offers large well spaced keys. As we said, uh, we also have swipe like functionality and a nice text prediction engine here on the top also in landscape mode. It's very comfortable to type on. Overall, one of the best uh, default keyboards we've seen in any Android overlay, including TouchWiz or the Optimus UX. We have a modern 28 uh, nanometers dual-core Snapdragon S4 in the Xperia T. It's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, so you never feel underpowered regardless of what you're doing with the phone, even with uh, the somewhat heavy timescape overlay, which employs uh, a lot of transparent backgrounds and transitional animations. We have uh, connectivity switches here in the notification bar for the first time, which we used to see on LG and Samsung handsets. You still can't uh, add more to them and scroll them sideways like on LG phones, but it's a nice start. The handset also sports uh, one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory, of which uh, two gigs are for installing apps and about 11 gigabytes are user available for files and media. The ICS browser is the last one song before Adobe Flash support is dropped from Android with mobile Chrome in Jelly Bean and the browser on the Xperia T behaves smooth as expected with this processor. Scrolling, zooming, panning around are very fluid. Text reflow works like a charm as well. And thanks to this uh, high screen pixel density, small text is quite readable too. Overall, very good browser on the Sony Xperia T, no complaints. We've got a Walkman branded music player here on the Sony Xperia T with uh, the usual minimalistic timescape interface, which uh, actually at places looks very much uh, Windows Phone-like with uh, these styles for song categorization and this uh, modern UI style back button. You have the Sense Me channels, which blast music according uh, to a preset mood. You have a friend's music recommendation as well. So a number of ways to categorize your tunes. And we have a couple of sound enhancements, which are basically just a equalizer preset mode. Let's have a look at uh, the video player now. It's pretty basic in terms of interface. 
in the player itself, but it plays DivX X video files right out of the box with uh, up to full HD definition. As you can see, this is a DivX file, 1080p, plays without a problem. And you can hear the usual excellent loudspeaker quality that we have on most Xperia's and Xperia T is no exception clean and with high volume without multiple distortions you can throw that's the term that Sony uses the currently played clip uh, or tune to a Sony compatible device you have around like a TV and uh, the video will start from where I left it off on the phone We've arrived at the best feature the Sony Xperia T has going for it. It's a 13 megapixel camera with stacked Exmor RS sensor. It is even faster than the Exmor Aladdin camera in the Xperia S, for example, with uh, these sub-second sleep to snap times when you press the dedicated shutter key in locked mode. And we also have a very quick sweep panorama mode, which uh, stitches quickly the photos almost instantaneous thanks to the powerful processor and we have the usual rich with functions timescape camera UI providing you with uh, either this fully automatic mode or allowing to adjust every single option like numerous scene modes and also a number of settings you can even set the type of smile the phone should be looking for before taking a picture, big smile, small smile, average, etc. And uh, the only thing that's missing is an HDR mode here, both in uh, pictures and in videos. The sensor inside is uh, one slash three inches and the lens with uh, 2.4 aperture, about the norm of what flagship smartphones offer these days. The pixel size is smaller though, 1.1 microns compared to the 1.4 in most high-end phones. While this uh, has allowed Sony to cram high of a resolution and a very small sensor footprint, it also is not letting enough light as we know the larger the pixel size, the more light it can absorb. While with good contrast and pleasant, uh, though slightly oversaturated color representation, the pictures don't boast any extraordinary amount of detail or exceptionally low noise, even outside would say they're about uh, the level of current high-end iOS and Android phones. The touted low light uh, capability of the sensor didn't manifest itself either. In our night samples, there's halo around bright objects, blur and noise, about what we get with most smartphone cameras. In those, the pictures didn't have any major issues. They came out fairly sharp and well exposed uh, when the LED flash fired, yet noise is evident and climbs up uh, when the lights dim. The phone shoots uh, very good 1080p video with uh, smooth 30 frames per second even inside and exposure compensation while panning around is very fast and gradual the only gripe is that the continuous autofocus is a bit slow to change the focus from the nearby object to the distance and vice versa the sound captures is relatively strong and clean as well but again nothing to write home about as far as uh, the video capture interface goes as you can see we can uh, zoom in with pinching the screen even while filming and there's an abundance of uh, scene modes to choose from but the phone lacks touch to focus before shooting starts in the end we have to say that the Sony Xperia T doesn't offer many groundbreaking features compared to the other flagships out there save for this dedicated camera shutter key but it's a pretty compelling package nonetheless the sturdy arch design will appeal to many and the 13 megapixel camera will let you capture those uh, moments on the fly because of the camera shutter button here which takes you from uh, sleep to snap in about a second time very quick it's like you have a dedicated camera with you and even faster which uh, might come in handy in a lot of situations there are no major gripes with the handset either. It is zippy with uh, expandable storage and easy to access card slots here on the right side. The only minor issues are with the screen. Its coating reflects uh, too much 
light outside which tampers with the view under direct sunlight and the viewing angles are pretty weak as you see our biggest expectations were towards the 13 megapixel stacked Exmor RS sensor but apart from saving space inside the phone the version of it uh, that's here in the Xperia T doesn't offer much better capture than its predecessor and the pictures and video quality is about what we find in the other high-end phones of today those flagships uh, are in about the same price range as the Xperia T as well so they are its main competition the Samsung Galaxy S3 sports a larger 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display which is superior to what we find in the Xperia T and it's also thinner and lighter phone the HC One X has a larger screen too but it's unibody design on its uh, micro SD card slot that we have here the LG Optimus 4X HD has a brilliant screen too and it's as compact as the T but the camera fares worse Sony's phone however won't have much to show against the upcoming crop of phones like the Optimus G for example from LG which is more powerful built with uh, premium materials and also has a 13 megapixel camera like the T if you're not a fan of large screens you can also check out the upcoming iPhone 5 as an alternative especially if you're somewhat invested uh, in the iTunes ecosystem other upcoming threats uh, to the Xperia T are the Windows Phone 8 flagships from Nokia and HTC that were unveiled recently and uh, have the same processor Snapdragon S4 but the Lumia 920 for example sports a camera with optical stabilization and the HC8X has a dedicated uh, audio amplifier but its screen is smaller than the one on Sony's finest this was a video review of the Sony Xperia T from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.